Howdy, Mike McCoy here. Today's video is going to be about my air compressor down there. And I'm almost, I'm almost certain that it's the capacitors. I ain't positive. And the reason I'm putting this video out, if you know anything about stuff like that, I'd sure appreciate it. And uh, my buddy Gator, I think he, I'm, I'm sure he knows about stuff like this. And I'm thinking he'll help me. But uh, what I need to know is what size capacitors to use for a 10 horsepower motor. I'm, I'm repeating myself for I think I, I'll said that down so I'm going to tell you anyway. I just, I know you can hear me up here and everything. But uh, the wires is numbered. They've got numbers on them. What, they, what them numbers represent, I don't know. But I think it's wired correctly, but I'm not positive. And uh, if you can sort of help me out with that, appreciate that too. For the thing is run, I put capacitors and stuff in it like a year, year and a half ago, and it's run ever since, and it's done fairly well. I, I think it's kicked off maybe three or four times, and that's just was sawing hard, and it's having to run a lot. So, but now, it'll start, but it will not come up to speed. It'll come up pretty good, but not to speed, and then it'll cut off and throw the switch, the breaker. And it, it's never done that before, so... Anything you can tell me will be of help. I'll appreciate. And I'll show you the video of the motor now. Thank you. I'm down here at the air compressor. And this is my motor. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a wag, wig, something or other. It's 10 horsepower. And there is the capacitor bank for it. You can see the wires is marked. Focus you heather and you. And uh, there's more capacitors back in there. And uh, if anybody can help me with this, it would be greatly appreciated. Uh, what it's doing is, uh, well, I'll just show you what it's doing. Can uh, they fix this? Yeah. And don't pay no attention to my wiring. It might be a little crude, but it works. Okay. And that box there is uh, the starter box. Okay. Let me flip it on? Yeah, if you will. Or... Want me to flip it? Yeah, mother's gonna flip it. Start up. It never comes up to speed though. And it throws this breaker. Now I'm almost convinced it's the capacitors. And I'm not for sure. These is the right capacitors that's supposed to be in the motor. I want somebody that knows more about this stuff than Let's I do. See back in there, see that little one. There's two little ones back in there, but that little flat and I'm almost certain is a run, but I don't know. But uh, if somebody knows the wiring diagram. The size capacitors I need to run for a WEG 10 horsepower motor single phase 220 volt down in the doobly doo down there. Tell me, I, this is sort of aimed at Gator for he he knows about stuff like this and I don't know. And I'm hoping he'll put out a video and maybe make a drawing or something or another of it. But uh, it's a good old wire compressor. And I've got another motor just like this. So if this one was to be bad, I can put that other one on here, but it ain't got no capacitors in it either. And I want to be sure and get the right size capacitors for the motor before I do it. So that's the dilemma I'm in. 
these things has been worked on by people like me that they don't know what they're doing just gets the capacitor off the shelf and puts in there and this has worked good for the last year or so but I still don't think it's the proper capacitor for the motor so that's where we're at and there's you see that better without the light can't you yeah there's a name plate again I don't know if you can make it out but I've got another motor that's identical to that and I know it's good and, and it might not even be the capacitors this thing may be right I don't know but I believe it is so that's where we're at so I'm going to show you some capacitors when I get up to the house and wonder if they'll work any. I'll catch you later. Oh, I've got the capacitors down here. They're not up to the house. You hold that up to the house. Can you I read it? I keep getting glare off of it. Can you read it? It's TGM something. Does it say microfads on it somewhere? Hang on, this might be better. Say what on it? Microfads, it ought to be some number. Some Motor number. starting capacitors. Uh huh. That's a starting capacitor, right? Made in America? America yeah. design? No, it ain't. It's, made. it's American design made in China. Yeah. Naturally. 110 vacuum, I guess. 340, 40, something other. That's microfads, I'm thinking. That's 340. Is it got a range on it? Is both of them the same? Yeah. 340. 48M F something other. Yeah. And it's 40. I don't know. Can't see it hardly. I don't know. But they look pretty. I don't know. Shine this. Hold this on. Let me see it. Give me that light there. It, it messes up. You're going to have to. It's 340 to 408 microfads. It's minus 40 to plus 65C. I can see it good now on this. Can you? Yeah, see? Okay, is that other than the same? Same thing, I think. I don't know why we got them. I mean, I don't know what the... Yeah, it's the same thing. Oh, God. <laughs> motor starting. Both of them says motor starting. So. Okay. Okay. There's a sawmill. It looks cold. It's pitiful. It is cold. <coughs> but maybe it warms up a little bit when we can saw a little bit more. Yeah, Hopefully. If I can get the air compressor. I don't know. I've ruined it, I guess. And. Like everything else. Reach me my tester over here. Need to set this tester to test. Uh, I'm sure it's on this side. Uh, capacitors. You're going too fast. I'm quick. Yeah, but you can't read it if you're going 90 miles an hour. I can't even see it. <laughs> so. If you would, show me where to set this thing at, or tell me. Okay? We'd appreciate it. Talk at you later.